Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2 with covert infiltration. So, we have a mission to destroy the alien relay with the Drome Dome seed trap, which might be one of the few seed traps that's a bigger pain in the ass than the Mutant Brigade. It's going to be interesting. And there's even a Berserker Omega in here. So, yeah. I definitely need to do this though, because I want to counter show of force. So, here's the squad. We got Saitani, Cookies, Nex, Tarkin, Longstrider and Garantio. No specialists, so I gave them a few medkits. But we have Talon rounds, we have a Frost Bomb, Bloskin rounds on Nex to deal with the Andromedon shells, Flashbang, Mimic Beacon. I could spend some more APs. I might actually give a Tarkin Shadow Step here. Something like that. Okay, let's actually give him Shadow Step. And I could spend some points on Garantio. I could grab Biggest Bombs. That is an option. Okay, let's get the biggest bombs. And I think that will do. Unless I want something else still. Center mass for cookies. Okay, let's get center mass. Now I think it's enough. Oh yeah, what about the long strider? I could get center mass for him. And maybe aggression actually. Okay, let's actually get aggression for him. That leaves me with 66 XCOM APs. I still kind of want center mass. Okay, fine. Let's go. We're moving in to destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. Alright then. So this mission will have a lot of Andromedons. I probably want to set up on some high ground, because I'm going to need it. So let's get Long Strider up here, shall we? Okay, a Long Strider up here. Will that reveal anything? Apparently not. We are going in this direction. Alright. Well, let's go then. Anything on the left? Solid copy. Yeah, I think so. Some lost. Okay, that doesn't matter. I kinda want to stay concealed, so hopefully they won't actually move towards me. I don't want them to do that. I suppose worst case scenario Tarkin will stay concealed. Okay, and the Garantio can be up here as well, at least for now. I will be saving that Frost Bomb for the Berserker Omega, because that's the best counter. And yep, here comes the first group, with two Andromedons. Alright, alright. And another one. Even more Andromedons, because why not? I'm not sure how I feel about this mission. Yeah, I could back up a little bit and only fight one group. But line of sight for Long Strider will be problematic if I do that. Very problematic. I could maybe go here. And maybe I will have line of sight to some of them. But that's a big maybe. And also Garantia will be in a bit of an awkward spot. But I can't wait too long, because I have 10 turns, and a lot of Andromedons to kill. So let's actually go here, and then... Yeah, I'm not quite sure what then. I would have to move a little bit closer here. 
Can we see anything? Not at the moment. I can't really use the rocket from up here. Yeah, this is not ideal. I might actually have to wait one more turn to get a better engagement. I think I'll wait one more turn. This is just not great. I could engage this pod over here and then try to avoid triggering this one. That is an option. It's not a terrible option. I could blast these guys with a rocket. A scouter is pretty bad though. So I think Dead Eye would be better. Dead Eye on this guy, for example. That's 55% chance to crit. Okay, what the heck? Let's go with it. Make it a good one. Give me a crit. There it is. Very nice. That's exactly what I needed in this situation. Now let's see if we can kill them without pissing off the other pod. And here are even more Andromedons. They actually moved away from me, which is not an ideal situation. But alright. Yeah, this is not an ideal situation. Can anyone actually do anything here? Not a lot. Wait, hold on. Did they not actually trigger because I technically killed that Andromedon? Oh, this is pretty weird. This is actually pretty weird. All right, all right. Let's just chill and overwatch. It looks like that might actually be a better solution here. Just overwatch. Impressed yet? Yeah, I'll just kill the lost. Not too shabby. Okay, I think I'll just overwatch. Alright, let's just overwatch. This might just work. Good. Reload. This might just work. Let's give it a shot. Here comes the other pod. Would be nice to kill at least one of them with Overwatch. Yeah, they actually backed up. Here it comes. All right, let's go. Kill it. Nice. Is it down yet? It's at 2 HP. All right, all right. Stock will take care of it. That's all right. Spectre. Yeah, I'm not totally sure what's going on with this pod. But there's the Spectre. Hello. You come here often? Where are you going? I have no idea what's going on with that. <laughs> Pretty weird. Not that I'm complaining. All right. Oh, it's a shame they didn't do two damage to that Andromedon with two HP left. That would have been funny. More lost. Okay, what now? I could probably kill the Spectre. I might, yep. Yeah. Maybe a rocket right now? I think that would actually make some sense. It will give me much better line of sight through this general area. So I think it's worth doing. Okay, let's use the rocket. It should give us much better line of sight. There it is. So we can see the trooper now. Down. 
Okay, I don't have uh, blue screen rounds on the next, but I would have to move to shoot that Andromedon shell. I could go here, which is full cover. Okay, that looks reasonable to me. So this will be at least 14 damage. Cookies. Saitani. I can flank the Spectre, kind of. No, I actually can't. Never mind. Okay, never mind. 30% is a little bit too low. I suppose I can try to shoot it with a slug shot. Yeah, there we go! <laughs> okay, we even got a crit. Very nice. I wasn't really counting on that happening, but I'm definitely not complaining. Let's kill that loss real quick. By the numbers. And then, well, again, I can move forward here. Sure thing. How's chain shot? Yeah, 68 is too low. I think I'll just shoot with that elite trooper. But not yet, not yet. What about blazing spear? Okay, this is probably a good moment to use that. This one is pretty tough to use properly. Because you need enemies in a straight line. And you need to position yourself to actually take advantage of that. So, okay, let's use it. Wait, what friendly fire? What? There shouldn't be any friendly fire. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, there actually will be. Uh, okay, okay. Can I avoid that somehow? Or not? No, not really. I cannot avoid that. Alright, let's just take a normal shot at the trooper. That works. That's how it's done. And then we'll try to kill the plague bearer. I can actually use Thunderclap. And this will do a ton of damage because of blue screen rounds. Yep. This hits a random target, but I only have one target left. So it's guaranteed to hit the plague bearer shell. Yes, I see that. Now, we do have other enemies, but I cannot actually see them. I could maybe see them from up here, but I'm not sure about that. Yes, we got Andromeda on Bugburner. So, 50% chance to crit. Maybe worth a shot. I could also... No, I can't use Frostbite. Uh, let's maybe kill this Lost real quick. I think a long strider has to do it. I don't like wasting ammunition on that, but somebody has to kill it. Uh, let's try to get a crit. No crit, but alright. Oh, hair trigger! Nice! I can do... No, I can't do normal reload. Because the second action is move only. Ready to rock. I can take it out, I think. Yeah, this will take it out. Very nice. Obviously, we'll still have the shell, but... Uh, the shell is a bit less dangerous. It can still hit for a lot. As for Tarkin, probably Overwatch. He is still concealed, so he could actually move up a little bit. And probably stay here. Okay, let's stay here. Oh yeah, Lancer. He's shooting Garantio, that's fine. We still got, what, two active Andromedons in this area? I'm not actually sure if they are active or not. It was a little bit weird. Yeah, here's one. <laughs> he didn't even hit the lost. And there was one more, I think. I'm just losing track. 
Obviously, there's the shell. I don't think I'll be rushing this loot, by the way. <laughs> Just saying. Loot is not the priority for this mission. The priority is actually getting it done. Here's a pod. Because I don't want to counter show of force. I do not want show of force with my current setup. Absolutely friggin' not. That would be really bad. Okay. So first, let's just shoot that lost. You know, that was good. And what now? I can kill the Lancer. Yeah, okay. Somebody will have to move closer to actually do something. Because I can't see a whole lot at the moment. I'm still a little bit confused about the status of this other pod over here. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused. So what's the best way to do this? I'll just shoot that broad really quick. And then probably shoot the Lancer. Yeah, just shoot the Lancer. 92%. Okay, just shoot the Lancer. And then Garant you can kill him. With stock. So it should be safe to stand over here, I think. Because the shell has melee attacks only. This will kill the stun lancer with stock, if nothing else. That's how it's done. Okay. And then what? I want to move forward, but I don't necessarily want to stand in partial cover here. Okay. We still got eight turns. I think I'll play it safe and just overwatch. I can move a little bit closer with Tarkin here, just to see what we're dealing with exactly. Here. Okay, so let's stay here. In position. Maybe they will move towards us and we'll get some Overwatch action going. That would be nice. So I'm let's going. move a tiny bit closer here. Moving to Overwatch. Now I actually want them to move towards me. I might as well reload. Okay. Will they come towards us? I think they just triggered off the lost. Okay. Well, more lost. Still got that shell. <laughs> nice acid burn on that lost on the right side. They're up. This is a lot of enemies. Come on, give me some overwatch. Go, go, go. Nice shred. We killed it. Very nice. Well done. Okay, any more Overwatch left? No, I don't think so. Okay, uh, they will spot Tarkin. Oh, well, that's all right. He's potentially in a good spot to use Reaper on this turn. This seems like the perfect moment to use Reaper, maybe. They are a little bit spread out. What I really need to do is give him mobility PCS. Right now he has 13 mobility, which is not that great. Okay, this might actually work. So if I use Reaper, I could open with that Andromedon, then hit the Archon. Now the question is, is he close enough to hit the Plague Bearer shell or not after the Archon? I don't know, and it's hard to know for sure. But this seems like a good plan. I just need somebody else to do some damage 
I thought that Andromeda on Bugburner first. And by somebody, I mean Blongstrider, basically. Yep, pretty much. That's going to be your job. I think a normal shot will be enough. Can we even see him? Yes. So that will be 11 damage minimum. Let me double check. I would hate to fail this plan. So what's the minimum damage we'll do here? 14. Okay, this is enough. So let's go with that. And I could potentially teamwork Long Strider. Sounds good to me. And then we can shoot the Archon. Okay, that's going to be the plan. Let's go. Oh, he got a crit. Really? Okay, that's kind of hilarious. I didn't actually need that crit, but okay, thanks. Sure. <laughs> I totally did not need that. So, Reaper. Now, the only downside of this plan is that rushing this bug burner might actually trigger yet another pod. But I think this is just too good to ignore. Wait, do I have to go through this poison? No, I don't. I kind of have to. Hey, well, no, I can just move manually first. Yeah, this is the only thing that makes me a bit nervous, potentially triggering even more enemies. There are 15 enemies remaining. But this is the best way to kill both the Bugburner and the Archon, and then potentially other stuff as well. So, let's do it. Bug burner first. I don't think we triggered anything. As far as I could tell. We'll still have the shell, obviously, but that's alright. So now we will do 10 damage to the Archon. Okay. Uh, let's kill this Lost real quick. Yeah, he might not take 2 damage. We'll just kill it. I can shoot this shell. Yeah, we shoot the teamwork along Strider. Okay, teamwork. And then we can still shoot the shell. Because that's the only option I'll have left. Well, no, that's not true. I could teamwork yet again. So, is this enough damage? Wait, this is 11 damage at least. If I do 11, it will be left with 13. So that's not enough. It's potentially not enough. I might have to use Deadeye to make sure we'll kill the Archon. So if I use Deadeye... If I use Deadeye and crit, that will kill it, and I do not actually want that to happen. I know that sounds weird, but I do not want that to happen, because if that happens, I won't be able to kill the Archon with Reaper, and then be able to move again after that. I won't be able to chain Reaper off the Archon, basically. So I do not actually want that to happen. I still can't tell for sure if this is close enough to this Plague Bearer shell or not. It's hard to tell. But worst case scenario, I do have teamwork. I think I'll have to use a dead eye anyway. I have one other option, which is killing this Lost over here. It's just that I will be a little bit further away from the Andromedon if I do that. I think I need Deadeye. Okay, Deadeye. It's pretty unlikely. No, wait, this will not do 24 damage no matter what, right? 
No, it actually won't. No, 23 max. So this is actually good. We will not kill the Archon with this shot. That's good. Okay, there it is, 16. So that's the minimum, basically, but it's enough. So now we can use Reaper on it. Like so. So that will be a kill. So is this close enough? Yes, it actually is. Okay. So then I can chain Reaper of this Andromedon shell. I just need to shoot it and do some damage. Okay, so I don't want to kill it. There's a 15% chance I would potentially maybe kill it. <laughs> okay, good. Is that enough? It's at six. That's enough, right? Yes, it's enough. So I'll kill it. That was a very, very nice round of Reaper. Very nice round of Reaper kills. And he's very close to his next promotion now. Maybe he can get it from this mission. You want some more? Okay, and technically I can still kill a Lost. Not that it will do me much good, I can just shoot it. This can potentially miss, uh, which would actually be terrible. No, even if it misses, we'll kill it with stock. How many is that now? And then we'll move into full cover in here, probably. I can technically still your sonic bomb or throw a grenade but i obviously don't want to be standing in the open with no cover so we'll just move in here okay now we have the andromedon shell to deal with the other one i'm not quite close enough to use sword of shotgun so just shoot it yeah this is 59 percent a bit low Okay, just shoot it. Fourteen. Grant you can finish the job. So again, I can teamwork long strider, but I think I'd rather keep teamwork for later. There's no specific need to use it right now. What did you expect? I want to have the option of using it again later and probably Overwatch with the others. We still got enemies over here. So I think Overwatch is just the best option. Maybe move into full cover on the left. Or I can move forward with Saitani and hunker down. Since, you know, he's an assault. He needs to be closer to be effective. Yeah, so we got this thing over here. Wait, what's my chance to hit it? 50% twice with rapid fire with 62% chance to crit. I would maybe be able to take it out like this. What the heck? Let's try. Okay, miss. One more. There it is. We got it. Nicely done. All right, all right. That was a very good turn. That was an amazing turn. And it should be safe to move forward here with cookies. Maybe kill that lost. That was a very nice turn. All right, Overwatch. Just in case something shows up. Oh yeah, there's this one guy in the back. Andromedon Ice Purger. Nice shot, we shredded it. I think it will be able to take a shot at someone. Yes, indeed. It missed. Okay, so we'll take it out. We still got that Berserker Omega somewhere. And another shell. Uh, that one is from earlier. I think. I'm losing track. <laughs> Obviously, it has to be from earlier. This is looking good. But we're not done yet. We still got eight enemies remaining. So, let's see. Garantio should probably start moving. Yep. Well, right now he's out of range of everything. 
So take a shot. There's no need for a shred. Hey, hold on. Don't take any shots yet. I need to check everything really quick. So how about the chain shot? Okay, that might work. 76%. Is it a little bit risky? A blazing spear. Okay, that would also work, maybe. Reloaded. Let's reload first. Okay, let's use blazing spear. Hopefully it won't miss. Oh, they are immune. Oh, damn it. Right, yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> Okay, I should have used chain shot, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm not sure if I can kill them both, though. I guess we'll find out. It's not the end of the world if I don't, but I would prefer to kill them both. So this is 100, but not a guaranteed kill. Back online. Okay, let's take that shot. A trench gun doesn't really make any sense right now. Just do 12 damage or crit. There it is. Got hit. So now we got the guy in the back. Let's see. I might not be able to take him out. I actually don't think I can take him out. Because Nyx is not close enough. Yeah, I actually cannot take out that shell right now. Okay, we can move. I'll just stay up here. I see no reason to move. Yeah, I can shoot it once, but it's not going to be enough damage. I can't even see it anymore. Okay, Overwatch. If I get really lucky, I might actually kill it. I can't move to the high ground, sadly. I want to stay in full cover. He should get line of sight from here. Okay, let's just overwatch from over here. And let's see if we can kill it with overwatch. I don't think it's close enough to actually attack anyone. It will just move twice. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, that's a bit weird. I have no idea why it's backing up. Is it the joining? Wait, what? <laughs> I think he's confused about life. Well, here comes Overwatch. I'm really glad I started bringing blue screen rounds, <laughs> but I knew I'm going to need them. All right. I think from now on, I'll need one person who can shoot more than once per turn with blue screen rounds in every single mission. So either a ranger, maybe a gunner, probably a ranger most of the time. A Kimbo might work too. Uh, anyway, let's take out that shell. We still got more enemies after that. Okay, there's uh, the relay. I'll try to destroy the relay without triggering any more enemies. And then we can take care of them after that. So let's shoot the shell with the Nyx. Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. Let's shoot it with Tarkin. He could really use that promotion. He's too experienced away. I think he can get it. I'm pretty sure he can get it. Reaper should be up soon as well. Or is it up already? In two turns. So maybe I can use Reaper one more time. Reload, steady weapon. And we'll shoot the relay. We still got five turns. And this has been pretty smooth so far. But that was a lot of Andromedons. And we still got that Berserker Omega out there somewhere. 
That's nasty. Yeah, I think I'm going to move forward a little, because I'll need the frost bomb against the Berserker. On my way. All right, Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay, another Andromedon. Two Andromedons. I lost count how many Andromedons this mission had. A lot. And that could have been a better Overwatch, but all right. Okay, that's three Andromedons in that one pod. Okay. A slightly awkward positioning here. Not too happy about that. Well, I can go here and take a shot. I don't want to trigger whatever else there's left, but this is objectively the best move. And Tarkin was here earlier, so hopefully we won't miss. I need that shred. Okay, got it. Even got a crit. Nicely done. Very nicely done. Okay, I don't have a line of sight to him. I will have to hit to get it in one turn. Uh, walk fire would work, but that would have to be my second shot. So that's not super useful because I want to be able to shoot the shell. Tarkin can't hit something, but Reaper is still on one turn cooldown. Unfortunately. What about Long Strider? A dead eye on this Andromedon. Okay, I like that. 45% chance to crit if I use precision shot. I think I prefer dead eye. Yep, that's higher guaranteed damage. And it's 100% chance to hit as well. I still got one more teamwork for Long Strider potentially. So dead eye. Okay. It could have been a little bit better, but all right. I think I'll use that teamwork. Oh wait, no, I can't because that was Garantio. And uh, never mind. It will have to wait for another turn. So I also have a run and gun. I could potentially run and gun all the way back here. But even if I can one-shot that Andromedon, I'm going to need some follow-up. Otherwise the shell will hit me in the face. Which I would prefer to avoid. I would definitely prefer to avoid that. So cookies. Chain shot won't do me that much good right now. I guess I'll just shoot that Andromedon, probably with Hail of Bullets. We will kill it with Hail of Bullets. I might want to reposition a little. This might be a slightly safer spot. I don't want to get flanked by that other Andromedon. He shouldn't be able to flank me. But I'll feel a little bit safer if I back up slightly. So let's just back up slightly. And we'll use Halo Bullets. Then we can shoot it with an X with a blow screen rounds. That's right. Okay, shoot it with the blow screen rounds. And then... Yeah, Tarkin can finish it off. Seems like the best option, which should give him a promotion. Yes, indeed. So he's a colonel now. So we got one Andromedon over here. Shield bearer and the bug burner. Yeah, this is a little bit tricky. I 
I guess I can just shoot the bug burner. I could actually just use the mimic beacon. Maybe. It's an option. I can teamwork cookies, but that won't really do him that much good. I can obviously run and gun, but I don't think that's a good idea in this situation. I don't want to do anything that will risk triggering another pod. Especially when I know for a fact there's a Berserker Omega in this mission. That has to be basically the last enemy I haven't found yet. I guess I'll just shoot this guy and see if I can hit him. But I need to move to not get flanked. So over here should be fine. Well, no. It's not entirely fine, because the shell... Yeah, here's the problem. The shell will be able to hit Garantio. Which is not great. That is actually not great. Maybe I will use that Mimic Beacon after all. Okay, what the heck, I'll just use that Mimic Beacon. Because what else am I going to use it for? Can we get it up here? Yep. I'm not totally sure if that Andromedon backburner will see it up here. And I can barely reach it. Probably best to just have it here. Good enough. That should work. I will still take a shot at something, obviously. Just need to decide where I want to stand. Well, I guess over here should be okay. It should be okay. Okay, 64%. Got it? No, we didn't. It's going to be at one health. Uh, but I got her trigger. <laughs> okay, sure. But I suppose that's fine. Oh, now you get a crit. Why couldn't you do it other way around? Apparently he couldn't. Alright, he did a beacon, thanks. Fortunately, the Andromedon can't do 12 damage to one shot the beacon. It's 11 max. The shield bearer will shoot it. Okay, so then the bug burner shell will attack someone. I'm not totally sure what the bug burner does. Does it have a fire attack? No, it's just a melee attack. Not quite sure where that explosion came from. Fire spreading. All right, we still got three turns. Yeah, we got this now. Sort of. So shoot the shell. Let's save that other shot for now. Oh yeah, also, Tarkin should have Reaper up again. So I guess I could use Reaper now? I mean, I don't see why not. I could potentially hit all three of them with it. Yeah, I definitely could do that. So let's shoot that guy on the left first. And no real need for a precision shot. Save it for the Omega. Just a normal shot. That's 12. And we got her trigger, even better. So now I can hit it. That will be a kill. Uh, we use the Reaper, yes? And then I should still have enough to kill the shield bearer. And then after that, we can hit the shell. Man, I love Reaper. It's a little bit tricky to use, but it's so good. Uh, maybe I can actually kill it again. Yeah, I should be able to. Like this. Yep, we can do that. Perfect. So hit it again, like so. That will be a kill. Then we can hit the shield bearer. I'm not sure if I'll have enough damage for all three of them, all four of them. 
Uh, okay, I need some damage on the shield bearer now. I have just the person for the job. Uh, that will be an actual kill, which is fine though. Okay, that's fine though. Just kill it. Alright. Then we can kill the shell. I suppose I can get that kill for somebody else. Sure. Garantio. He's pretty close to his next promotion. And then we can destroy uh, the relay. Uh, I think I'd like to stand in cover before I do that. Not that cover matters a whole lot against Berserker Omega. And it's still lurking out there. I'm sure it will show up soon enough. And that thing is nasty. Yeah, let's just overwatch here. Yep. It will show up. Yep, there it is. And that's a thick boy. And he gets an action every time you shoot him. Which is why I saved that frost bomb. That's the best counter against the Omega, the frost bomb. It won't get actions from Overwatch, as far as I remember. Oh, no, it will! Okay, I thought it won't. But it gets extra actions from Overwatch as well. Okay, that was potentially a really bad life choice there. The Lost. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Are we there yet? Okay, I'm just going to freeze it right away. Uh, okay, wait, what? Oh, this is bugged out. Yeah, it's not actually standing on that tile. The game is lying. It's standing right here, apparently. This better be correct. This actually better be correct. Yeah, it is. Okay, we got this. We got this. Reload. Thunderclap. Clap the Omega. <laughs> he still has one armor. Not that it matters too much. I guess I can grab this loot. Advanced hair trigger. Sure. We got some lost in the back. And that shouldn't really matter though. But I might as well kill a few. Because I can. And that's a miss, alright. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let's kill this thing and go home. It's dead. Alright then. Just finish off the lost and then we can go home. Not a great shot. Again. That's better. Yeah, let's just reload here. Are we done yet? Nice crits. Did you see that one? Yes, I see that one. Where were all these crits when I needed them earlier? Now he's critting like everything left and right. Alright. There's still one more? I'll just overwatch. Let's rock. I suppose I can heal myself. Go on then. I would like to finish this. We are definitely done now. That went really, really well. Uh, better than I expected. But that was a lot of tough enemies. If I gave them the initiative, it would have ended poorly, I can tell you as much. You saw how much damage they could do. You saw their damage range. So yeah, it would have ended poorly if I gave them the initiative. 
Go, go, go to the blade storm. You want some more? Yes, I want some more. I always want more blade storm. All right, let's finish this already. Uh, let's kill a few with Garantio here. That should be worth like one experience at least. He won't get a promotion from this mission, but he should get a promotion from the next one. What did you expect? Is that the last one? Try the numbers. Uh, no, not yet. Okay, there are like two more in here. All right, all right. Two more. I'm going. Fine, fine. I'm coming. More crits. Not too shabby. How many crits in a row was that? Like five? That? There it is. 48 killed enemies. Only two soldiers wounded. Yeah, that went way better than I expected it will. But that was a nasty sea trip. So, promotion. Let's see then. If you hit with a melee attack during your turn, gain a bonus move. Oh yeah, that is definitely good. So wait, does that give you a bonus move with a Reaper? Oh, it cannot be employed if Reaper or Serial are active, but that is still good. That is still good to move in, hit something, and then move into safety. I probably want that. Gain additional action after taking a standard shot at a flanked or exposed target, right? Target definition. Yeah, I'll take Whirlwind. That's definitely very, very useful. Here you go. I could take holo targeting for him. I'm tempted to pick up target definition for him. Yeah, I think I might take that actually. Target definition is just so good, I'll take it. Okay. So that's that. Here's the loot. And we countered the show of force. So how's our research? Three days to finish Berserker Queen autopsy. Alright. So back to scanning. Avengers. Not a lot to scan at the moment, just the intel left. New covert operation. Uh, wait, what? Hold on. This one is underway. Oh no, it's an actual mission here. Okay. Interesting. Delay dark event barrier. What was barrier again? Enemy tech and sonic defense are doubled. I wouldn't mind countering that. I don't care too much about countering it. But I might do that. Berserker Omega. There's a codex in here. Maybe this would be a good opportunity to skulljack the codex because I'll have to do that at some point. Sooner or later. Preferably sooner. We could wait to finish... No, we can't wait to finish the research. Or rather, advanced explosives, which doesn't even matter too much. Let's check the roster really quick. Yeah, I can feel the squad, but it won't be a very strong squad. It would be alright. Well, either way, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it to hack the Advent Network. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.